Kia ora and aloha. In this video lesson, we're going to be talking about revising, finding a feasible region, and then extending that to optimizing a solution. So you're being asked to find the feasible region for the following inequalities. So what we're going to do is in our GeoGebra calculator suite, we're entering in the inequations. And what I'm doing is to make it shaded out, because I think it's easy to see a non-shaded region compared to one that's shaded the darkest. All I did was I entered in the inequations, but as we can see in the first one, it's y greater than or equal to one. I just reversed it to y less than or equal to one. I did the same thing with the other two inequations by reversing the order of the inequality. I get a feasible region that is shaded out. So I'm looking for the area that has no shading at all. That's my feasible region. Now to identify the coordinates of the corners, what I do is I take the y less than or equal to one and I make it y equals one. I have y plus two x greater than or equal to six, make it y plus two x equal six. And by doing that with all three of the inequations, by putting them in as an equation, I can then go to tools, choose my intersect option, and by selecting the point of intersection, by basically just clicking on this point, on this point, and this point, I can now see my points of intersection are points A, B, and C. I can see A is 1 comma 4, B is 2.5 comma 1, and C is negative 5 comma 1. So those are the coordinates of the feasible region. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to build on that. We're going to be using a spreadsheet in order to use these coordinates to maximize a solution. So as we were told in our given problem on classroom here, looking at question number 17, we were told that we have a solution, we have an equation rather, that we want to maximize. And that is the equation f equals y minus 7x. And what I've done, I've taken that y minus 2x, and that has been put into my spreadsheet. And I've also taken each point, the x coordinate and the y coordinates, so 1 comma 4, 2.5 comma 1, and negative 5 comma 1. We are going to see which of those points maximizes this equation, and that's y minus 2x. What we're going to do now, we're going to format that. We're going to tell that cell, I want you equal to y value, click on that, there's my y value, minus 2 times x. So minus two times, and the times is shift eight, and then the x. So what I've done is I've taken y minus two x, in other words, four minus two times one, and that gives me two. And it automatically knows it wants to do that with the rest. Yes, indeed, and I can see now, this is the biggest output, 11. So we're saying that the point negative five comma one maximizes that equation. That's why I'm going to fill that in with green. And I'm now able to say the point that maximizes or optimizes this solution is the point negative five comma one. One that minimizes it, smallest value out there is negative four, and that was 2.5 comma one. But to answer the question from today's Mahi Inayane, which point maximizes this equation? That was the point negative five comma one. Okay, we're going to have more of these to practice, but you've got this video to go back and look at. As always, thanks for watching. Maori mahi, Maori ora, ka kite ano.